Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke and stuff. Uh, we're gonna continue making our way through. I looked up, um, I think I promised I would be exactly at my same location last time, and that just did not happen. Uh, I looked up to see what the chances of catching a Dratini without a Super Rod, and it is, on a good rod, it's 10%, oh, and on just walking around, it's 10%. So, I don't know. No, but we'll make a special episode once I get Super Rod of me trying to catch a Dratini. Because also, if you get a Super Rod, there's a 10% chance. It goes from 10% to 30% 30 chance of Dratini, and then 10% chance of Dragonair. So, I mean, that sounds pretty cool to me. If I do say so myself. Alright. Oh, I forgot I had to go through the entire thing. Oh, man. I'm sorry I'm out, so out of it. I should mention, the reason I'm so out of it uh, is that I somehow hurt <laughs> my right arm. And by somehow, I know 100% how I hurt my arm. Um, so basically, I'm an idiot. But to explain more, uh, I'm going to fight this Goldeen so Jolene can get some EXP. Um, so there's a window here that... Uh, I have to open in order to get room into the air because with my computer on, there's actually no way for me to... The only thing that gives, like, other, because of the heat, this entire room would turn into a sauna if I did not, one, have the fan on, two, open the window. Um, and the way for me to open the window is that it's a sliding window. Um, and up until this point, I had no idea that the sliding window, there's a way to lock it in. So I didn't know that. I saw, so one day I wake up, I want to say it was two days ago? Yeah, it had to be two days ago. Depending on when you see this, it was either one or two days ago. I go to the window, and I push it. Nothing happens. I'm like, okay, weird, maybe it's stuck. So then I give it a little bit more force. Nothing. At this point, I give, I've, I've now pushed it twice, I give it full on all the strength that I have in my arms. Um... And I do it hard trying to push this thing to get it open. And finally, I look, I take off the thing that's uh, covering it because there's like a, because my sister works by the window. So she puts up a, um, you know how you put something in your car to protect you from the heat? She has something similar to that in the, for that room. I look at it and I see that there's a way to actually open it from over there. Uh, and I open it and I see that it is in fact locked. So the reason that it took so long is that it was locked. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine. Later on into the night, I'm eating my gummy bears, and I go, Why is this hurting? Why is me going to eat gummy bears hurting me so much? And that's when I realize, like, well, no, I go to bed, and I'm like, okay, weird. Maybe this is my body's way of telling me, bro, stop eating the gummy bears, please. Um, I'm not gonna listen to my body. Screw you, body. Um, so, I go to bed. <laughs> And I wake up, and my arm's still tired, and I'm like, why? I, like, I can barely lift it at the moment. And I was like, why the hell does it hurt so much? Quailfish looks like it's staring at me directly as I'm telling this story. Um, so I'm like, ow, it hurts. And I'm wondering why. And then the basic reason is that I go like, oh, that's why. Because I've had definitely had it before where if I use more strength than I'm used to, basically I... Um, there's like a part of me that remembers like all the old strength that I used to have. Like a good example of this is that this happened a um, long time ago. Is that um, I guess the way my body functions is that it remembers a time where I was super strong. Which is basically, I wasn't always the strongest kid. But I did do a little training in boxing in high school. So I have at least an idea of how to throw my weight around. Um... But anyway, I went in the car with my mom one day because we were going to, she was going to drop me off at Burger King and then she was going to go to work and then she started choking on something because she decided to take um, a pill, which you shouldn't do. She doesn't do this anymore because thank God if I had not been in the car, my mom would have died. Um, uh, so what happens is that I see that something's wrong. I go, mom, mom, you got to go. And then I immediately jump out the car. I'm on the passenger side of the, of the car. I get out. There's a car behind us. And I yell at them saying, like, I need help. I need help. No one's coming to come help us. 
even though I'm ye literally yelling, I get my mom out of the car, and with whatever force I have left in my body, I I lift her up into the air with um, the intent to get whatever's stuck inside her. She's choking, so I'm trying to get it out of her, so I'm like pushing up against her uh, stomach, um, trying to get whatever's in her. Because I remember when I was a kid, um, when I was choking, they, my uncle did the same thing to me. So I'm like, if this worked on me, it's going to work on my mom. So um, I lifted her up into the air, in essence. Like, I was pushing it so hard, I was lifting her up into the air. Um, she got it out. She ended up being perfectly safe. I was so scared. She ended up saying, like, oh my god, you saved my life. Telling my siblings if your brother had not been in the car um i would have died and i said yes but also good god and i didn't feel anything because it was adrenaline to what i was doing and then later on in the day uh, <laughs> i think no i ended up going to sleep and when i woke up my arms were tired as hell because i had lifted my mom who is you know a little bit on the on a she weighs a good amount. I won't say anything more than that, but she weighs a good amount. So it doesn't matter how much you weigh someone. If you're not used to, like, either 100 pounds or 5,000 pounds, if you're not used to lifting up something, then you get... Like, that was something that the, the I think I remember from my gym instructor told me a long time ago, is that you have to pace yourself. And you can't go hard all the time, especially if you haven't um, been used to that kind of activity in a very long time. So I was... Like, I want to say in my day, the highest I could go to was maybe, maybe close to 300. I never really pushed myself for that reason, is that I was like, well, I'm perfectly fine going around the, the, the 200s. This is where I'm comfortable at, so I kind of always stood at, stayed at the 200s of lifting stuff. And I would always be like very gently lifting it, like, don't, you know, paying close attention to not actually get any part of my body. Um injured in some way and now i think twice now that i'm older i'm like doing that but every time i do it well in the case of my mom i didn't feel it till the very next day in the case of the dumbass window with my big dumbass self i was just unable to push that window and honestly if i kept trying i would have eventually broke that window if i had not just used my dumb brain which i eventually did sea king let me see you're not a flying type but I want to check something real quick. Defense. I mean, it's not bad defense, honestly. I think Jolene can take a peck. Okay. Well, it doesn't know peck. So guess what? Absorb. For I, I guess, to be fair, they wouldn't have peck at this level anymore. I doubt they would anyway. I used all my absorb on that damn fish. That's the other thing I don't like about Absorb, which I was complaining about it last episode, but here's another thing I don't like about Absorb, is that Absorb takes, it has like such a short amount, it like only deals 20 damage, and yet for some reason it has 20 PP, so you run out of it super quick once you enter the late game of stuff. Doesn't make any sense at all. Horn tech. Kidding me with that horn tech. Absorb. Gulp. Gulp, 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 gulp. Eating you for nutrients. Mm, there was a part of me that thought that the flail was about to do one shot. So yeah, anyway, my right arm hurts. <laughs> and it's because of the dumb window thing I tried to do. I tried to open it with brute force. And the only time I'm going to really remember this pain is when I lifted my mom up into the air. Uh, to save her from dying. That's the the Wokey motto. Not a day goes by, I don't think about that. It scares me. It scares me to think about it now. Like, you don't... Uh, I don't know what would have happened. I don't like to think about it. I am talking about it now, but mainly because I'm like... Dude, what? It's crazy. I need to check if I'm in a new area. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna keep on running from you, sir. Let's see. I am, in fact, in a new area. Okay, so if I run to a Pokemon, I can catch it. It's 
plight what this man is. Do, 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 do. Look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied, but just collecting them, right? No, I just know <laughs> what that's supposed to mean. You a psychic trainer? Damn. Psychic trainer Richard! Espeon. Damn, level 36. Wong should be an Espeon. If I wasn't... Um, if it wasn't for Nightmare, literally taking the role Espeon would have served. Go, Nightmare. You can't be hurt by Psychic. You are Psychic. See? And now this Espeon will do nothing to you. Well, it's a no Shadow Ball. That would be very unfortunate if a new Shadow Ball, if I'm being honest. But it's not going to. Headbutt. It might kill me with Quick Attack, though. It is... No, no, it's only 10, 10, 10, 10 damage. So I'm fine. Head, but thank God for the hard head of Nightmare. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I wish Nightmare knew Quick Attack. <laughs> the only time I care about knowing Quick Attack is when someone's faster than me. And I'm like, ah, oh, you don't have much health left. You're such a pain in my ass. Ooh, 35. Get it up there, Jolene. <gasps> Damn it, that's not the move. Sure. I was almost, there's no move to get rid of because of stupid cut. I mean, I could get rid of Stun Spore. Do I even use Stun Spore anymore? I mean, I do, yes. Moonlight also, if I remember correctly, only works at night or something. Good battle. I agree, Richard. Alright, everyone. That's enough for today's episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, my arm hurts as I'm trying to go to stop recording on this episode. That hurts so much. Goodbye!